Hey, welcome back to our YouTube channel. The channel is called Coach Betty Moura. Thank you very much for subscribing. We would ask that if the information we are giving you is useful and you're finding it helping you increase your business sales, uh, improve your life as a person, please share with your friends, your relatives, your colleagues, and those you care about. Uh, every week, we share two videos that touch on personal and business success. Thank you very much for subscribing. And would ask you know comment tell us what you would like us to do which video would you would you like us to create and then we are people who listen we shall do that for you thank you very much so today i want to do part two of the video we did uh, this week and the topic was how to get paid for what is in on your mind how to get paid for that thing that is in your mind and you know that you can teach people how to do so part one we spoke about uh, you know you must package that thing in your head and give it a name. So from the questions I received, I think it's important we continue with this discussion. And uh, this is what I want to say. I have found that a lot of people get um, afraid or they are shy to ask for money for their value. So you, you, know, you are a consultant, you are a coach, you are a... Uh, a, a trainer and uh, people don't think that they should pay you for, for your services. Uh, I know for sure you wouldn't walk into a store today, pick a phone or pick, you know, flower or pick something and not pay for it. You actually pay for it because that's a good. I don't think you would go to a lawyer or to a doctor and just walk in and then you walk out without paying consultation fee. So don't feel guilty, especially if that is what you want to do for a living. Uh, the only problem with you would be you not packaging your message. So let's continue with the discussion. How do you get paid for that message that is in your head that for na by now you should have gotten a name for it? I want to say that number one, sit down and establish what is your big why. Why do you do what you do? Why do you want to get into coaching? Why do you want to become a trainer? Why do you want to become a consultant? Why is it you want to give the world your expertise? Why do you want to become an advisor to whoever it is you want to advise? Why? Do you want to do it because someone did it and they look like they're succeeding? Wrong. Do you want to do it because you have nothing else to do? Wrong. Do you want to do it because that's the only thing on the table that you can do wrong? But if you want to do it, to give solutions to the world, to give solutions to a problem that is on the table and clients do not know what to do about the problem, then you're on the right track. If you want to do it because that's your passion, you know, you light up every time you want to do whatever it is that, you know, you want to consult, you want to advise, that then is the right why. So you need to first of all sit down, establish your why. For those of you who attended our talk on the 28th of March, 2019, we spoke about how you can find out your big why. And I'm sure you guys are busy uh, finding out your big why. So step number one is to find out your big why. Why are you doing it? Of course, there are steps and there are tools that we use to help you establish your big why. If you would be interested, you can talk to us. Then uh, when you find out what your big why is, if you do not have a business, start registering one, getting prepared. You know, get a name for it, uh, you know, register with your government, wherever it is in your country, and then you can get your business, you know, legal. It's very important to have your business legal. And as you do that, if you have established your why and you're happy with it, start getting training. You know, look for a coach. Look for someone who can guide you. Go to a school. Go to a program. Attend a program. I know some people are, you know, out there telling you you really do not need to get certified or anything, but it's wise to get certification. It is even better and it's good wisdom to have a coach. So look for someone who can guide you as you register your business so that you're not uh, alone in this. And then, of course, after you register your business and after you get a coach and after you get someone to help you in the journey, establish your niche market. Who is it that you're targeting? In my book, I'm um, sorry I don't have a copy today, but in my book there's a chapter that says, you know, establish your niche. Who is your niche? Who is it you want to serve? 
You cannot serve the whole world. There are people who will not like you. There are people who will not resonate with the message that you're giving because probably you don't speak their language or they don't speak your language. But there are people who will hear what you're saying. They will resonate. They will like your message and they will be willing to pay your message, to pay for your message. So if you are giving your services out there for free, check who it is that you are giving your message to. Probably you're not giving it to your niche. You're not giving it to the people that appreciate your message. So it's very important that you, up, you find out who is it that I'm called for. Am I called for the youth? Am I called for the women? Am I called for the men? Am I called for the corporate world? For example, I know very clearly that corporate Kenya or corporate America or wherever other corporate, I personally resonate very well with me, with them, and they resonate very well with me. So I know my market, I know my niche. So even as I craft my messages out there, I know who it is that I'm speaking to. So if I will get a position from the quarters that I'm not targeting, it is fine, they're in their right space. But if I, you know, I am able to speak to my niche market, then I'm game and you are game as well. So when you do that, you identify your niche market. The next thing to do is to package your message. And we have spoken about packaging your message a lot. You can do that with the help of a coach. You know, come up with programs, come up with a product, write a book, write programs, design whatever. You know, if it's a, if it's a product like a phone, design the phone. If it's a dress, design the dress. You know, come up with the product, come up with the service that it is you want to give the, to, to the world. Finally, you need to market what it is that you've packaged, the service or the business, I mean, or the product. You need to let the world know what it is that you're selling us or what it is that you're offering. I have seen lots of people come and tell me, Betty, this is my product, fantastic product, fantastic services. Someone knows how to show the world what to do and yet they are keeping it, you know, as a, as a private something because probably they fear marketing or they fear what people will say about them marketing. So when you come up with your product or your service, you need to know how to market. And a lot of people keep saying, oh, you know, I'll market my business tomorrow. I'll put it on social media. I'll do this and that. So I want to say today, marketing is not something that you talk about marketing is something that you do and you being the owner of the business the ceo you are the chief marketing officer you market your business best you know people will market your business but they will learn from you how to do it so don't get afraid don't fear because I have told you, you need to look for your niche market. Your niche market will appreciate your marketing. Those who will not appreciate your marketing, it's all right. Love them from far. That's them and that's how they feel about your marketing. But those ones who will, those ones who will appreciate you, it means there are people that love you and they love your product. So do not sit on your product or on your service because you are afraid to bring it out to the market. You can actually look for help. If you admire someone who markets their products or services very well, you could speak to them they could show you how to market your product or your service out there and also innovate you market and innovate by the way i read somewhere that marketing is not you know an expense for a business marketing is a must for any business and i see a lot of people cutting down on marketing when probably the economy is not doing very well that's not going to be very good for your business so you need to know how to market you need to learn how to market grab a copy of my book you know drop us an email if you need to do in you need to learn how to do any of the above thank you very much for watching i pray that you can get paid for what is on your mind but you also need to contribute to your own rescue thank you very much i'll see you real real soon